Hi Virgos, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your three month love forecast for June, July and August for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. If they don't, that's fine. You can check your other signs to see if you can get more clarity uh, on what you were not able to pick up here. Uh, I'm just doing this spread like this now for the next three months um, just because I'm going to be a grandmother and I just want to be prepared and, and um, trying to organize as much as I can to be ready for that. Uh, baby is due in August on my birthday. Um, so <laughs> happy birthday to us Virgos. And um, yeah, I just want to get this out for you. Okay. So um, if you want to get a personal reading from me, just go to my website, moonpietarot.com. You can also use the Instant Go app. If you have a question or two, or you want to get into a chat, or you want to call me, just download the app from your iPhone app store. You have to have the iPhone, all the information in the description box below. And um, I'm also going to be uploading some goodies on there that you would be able to purchase, not like a personal reading, but uh, just some neat little things. Okay, and there'll be some packages that you can also subscribe to as well. So let's get started with your reading. So what are the messages from the Romance Angels Oracle deck? for Virgo for June, July, and August. Messages for Virgo. June, July, and August. Okay. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay. So someone in your life, significant, either you'll meet them during this, these three months, or this is someone you're currently dealing with, who you have some type of a connection to, or you've had, or at least it feels like, even if you haven't known each other that long, or even if you've, if you've been together for 20 years, this card tells me that it's, it's that feeling where you've been together before and it's overwhelming, this feeling. Okay. Um, you know, if you get into all that spiritual stuff and, you know, uh, past life relationships, you know, it's just that sense where when the two of you are together, even if it was a negative relationship in the past, it's just something that you're drawn to between each other. You're drawn to each other. Even if this relationship you're in right now is not so great, there's still that, it's not like codependency or something like that. It's more like there's a connection that cannot be denied. Like both people feel it. Even if one person is, you know, saying they don't feel that way, <laughs> they're just denying it. Okay. Or if you're saying, well, no, it's not really like that. Well, then maybe you're denying it. Um, but there definitely is something here to do with another person, whether this is a romantic relationship or a friendship, whatever your situation is, there's some type of a connection between the two of you. Okay. So some of you work with this person or there's a connection through work. There's like a, it's like a teamwork kind of thing. The three of pentacles here is showing me that it's two people who are learning about each other, exploring things about each other. Um, but I, I just feel like putting in some kind of an effort into this relationship in June. There's something new I feel needs to be done or accomplished or worked on in this relationship between you and this other person. Some type of new skill, something that both of you may have taken for granted in the relationship. And the unknown card is here. And that's a card that talks about basically nothing. It's a card that says that we're not sure what's going on. We're not sure what the fate of this relationship is. We're not sure. There's something that hasn't been revealed yet. And I feel like in June, it will be revealed. I just want to clarify just to see if they can give me some information on this unknown card. What is this? unknown that we are not sure about something that needs to be worked on in this relationship 
So the six of wands is here. Taking pride in it. I feel like there may be a lot of someone taking advantage of the other person in this connection. And that's causing with the nine of wands boundaries put up that this is the reason why there's some kind of like block, you know, somebody is protecting themselves. Someone has a boundary up. Someone doesn't, it maybe is having trouble trusting for some reason. And the six of wands here, I feel like there could be also an ego issue going on too to some degree, someone may be a little too prideful and needs to like come back down to planet earth and work together, work on something together to humble themselves. Because, you know, it could be you Virgo, who is just too much up in your head about things or feeling too much like you deserve this and you deserve that. And you're not going to let anyone say you can't have something like you're always you're you always feel like you have to be the victor in a relationship or it's the other person who has that energy playing out but you know i feel like there's a block i feel like someone doesn't want to open up someone doesn't want to you know bring to the table the truth of maybe how they feel or you know really truthfully what's going on deep inside, how they really feel. Okay. And that causes this block. But with the three of pentacles here, I see two people trying to work together in something. So some of you, as I said, could be, this could be a work relationship. You, some of you could be work, even though it's a love reading, you, well, you could be working with someone that you actually have, a, have taken a liking to, but you might feel that they're a little prideful or they're a little vain you know, and, and that causes some type of a block between both of you to move the relationship forward. And also it could be you, or it doesn't have to be work. It could just be anything. But I, I do see like two people working together to try to overcome things because we have the Ace of Swords down here for August. So some of you are dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This person's all about the money. This person, pretty stable, but just has this energy. They're just really, they work, work, work. They're focused on that. They're very sensual, you know, um, and this is for July. So this could be someone new coming in for you, or this could be this person. It could be someone that you work with. This could be a boss. Uh, this could be a co a partner in, um, you know, in a work situation. This could be a partner, a spouse. But I, and so I really kind of feel like, you know, and if you're a male, Virgo male, this could be you who just has that, you know, prideful ego thing going on. But I, I kind of get the sense for you ladies that, and, and men, that there's some type of a change coming here in July with the uh, six of swords, this is a necessary change. This is walking away from an old way of thinking, letting negative thoughts go. I'm not feeling like there's a self-esteem issue or something like that could be slightly. And that could be the reason for someone being just a bit too egotistical or prideful, but it's next to the King of Pentacles. So, the earth sign is going to make a huge change and start becoming more generous, start giving back. Okay. And if this is you Virgo male, this could be, you know, something for you to recognize that you have a very deep connection with this other person and you're taking advantage of it to some degree. You're not opening yourself up because you're too prideful. You've got your you know, you have all these boundaries set around you. Like, I don't know, you're a, a wounded soldier, so to speak, who's been to battle. You're still ready to fight, but it's like your fight is not what's winning the heart of your, your other person. And ladies, this person, whoever you're dealing with, and it doesn't have to be an earth sign, but whoever you're dealing with, I feel like is 
going to start showing some changes because we have two sixes here. So these are necessary changes that this person might just have a lot of fear and that's why they don't show their emotions. They don't show the vulnerability that absolutely needs to be present in a relationship. You know, the humanness to people who recognize that, you know, Hey, my gosh, we're human. We make mistakes. We get spinach stuck in our teeth. It's life. Life goes on. It happens, whatever, no judgment, you know? And so I feel like this person in July is going to, actually make some huge changes, some mental changes and get out of that stinking thinking, you know, and start to be more generous towards you and you Virgo male being more generous in your all around life, not just with money. You know, this is a card about reciprocity. This is a card about sharing and not taking everything just for yourself or whatever it is you feel like you, you need to have. And, you know, I mean, of course, we all have to have boundaries and we all have to have like certain things that you, know, you don't want, you, you don't want to be a doormat. You have to stand up for yourself in situations, but you're never going to get what you want if you don't. And sometimes, sometimes people have their boundaries so wedged in cement that they're not malleable. And it's not that you should change your boundaries just to get your happiness, but there should be some type of negotiation, which is what the Six of Pentacles represents to me, working together, giving and receiving, some back and forth. So a decision needs to be a compromise, really, uh, will be made in August. And I feel like for you, it's a decision about how you really feel about this person, if this is really what you want. Because the Queen of Cups, you know, she's very warm and loving and caring. And if she feels like she's taken advantage of, sometimes she does play that victim or doormat, you know, role just because she cares so much. Okay. Um, you know, even if this represents Virgo female, it could be time for you to walk away from some bad thinking and start being giving more, not giving more, giving equally. Maybe some of you Virgo females were taking. Maybe you weren't being generous. And I know some of you are going to leave comments and say uh, you were giving too much or, you know, someone was taking so much from you. And uh, okay, then this may just not be for you if you're firm in that belief. Okay, this may be for some who just need a wake up call about certain things. I know it sounds harsh and I don't mean to sound harsh, but I feel like if there was anything going on with you that you weren't giving of yourself, it's because you were either feeling taken advantage of, or you were feeling like the person you were dealing with was just to had this sense of entitlement all the time. And so in August, I see you just really trying to make a decision. You could have someone from your past coming back towards you and realizing that they have been selfish and they have been prideful. You know, they've got too much pride and too many boundaries up or walls to admit, even though they still want to work things out with you or they still want to try to make it work, they could be coming back and trying to be more giving with you. But I feel like in August, quite honestly, you're really going to be getting in touch with how you feel and making a decision. I feel like you're going to be giving some cutting truths to this person that need, that need to be had, you know, because it, I almost feel like you're, you'll be saying to this person, all right, there's obstacles that need to be overcome. But with this queen of cups, you need generosity and you need love and you need empathy from this person and you need care. And I feel like that's what you will express, both of you will be, you know, come to this understanding about this. And the Ace of Swords, I see it's a new beginning here happening. It's a new beginning in overcoming those obstacles, having new communication. So if you're waiting for someone to come back, they could be returning in August. 
you know, or they could be coming back like sometime in July or August or reaching out or trying to be more loving and giving to you. But the actual obstacles and a new beginning for this comes sometime in August. So why is it worth all that to go through it? Because there is some type of past life connection. Maybe this karmic cycle just is not complete yet. There's things that you have to learn about yourself from this other person and things that this other person is learning about themselves from you. Okay. So this relationship or whatever, friendship, marriage, romantic partnership, work partnership, whatever it is, you're both in each other's lives for a reason. If you're not currently in each other's lives, you're still, you're still connected energetically. And it's really important to recognize. Uh, I mean, if you want to recognize things and try to make it work, you can. I think a lot of you do understand there is a connection here between the two of you. But I think you have to make a decision if to be able to tell if this person has really changed, if they're giving to you because they just miss you or if they're giving to you because they truly do realize that they care. And I, I do see there's some type of mental something that was affecting this other person or affecting you. And so that give and take energy, it's, it's almost as if it's not, it, it's like st more straightforward than the six of cups. I do see this being somewhat of a reconciliation because it's a giving back and forth, but it's not like emotional. It's just like a realization like, yeah, I haven't helped. I haven't supported you. Um, you. Some of you may be dealing with someone who's not paying child support or supporting you in the ways that they need to or said that they would, or they've just been having this attitude of, you know, they're working really hard and they're making all this money and they don't have to give you anything, you know, and they've got their walls up. But I think they're coming to realize something's striking them. And it could have something to do with this realization that there is a connection here. Okay, Virgo. So I'm going to end your reading. I think I told you guys how to contact me in the beginning of the reading. Um, but if not, the, everything's in the description box below. <laughs> I honestly can't remember if I just said that or not. So I will see you guys soon. Have a wonderful summer and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye.